One more attempt. God, man. And if this doesn't, if this doesn't make it, then we switch to Mirror's Edge for sure, Zs. Okay. You can get into Promise. All of the cars in New Hive City. If you haven't seen that movie, I recommend it. Okay, I'll try to keep it in mind. Redeemed hydrate. Okay, one second. I can hydrate during this cutscene. To one more cheers, to one more attempt, to being positive, to a meme of a speed game, and to maybe switching to Mirror's Edge later. Yo, is that Yugi Moto? Okay, that's fine. I don't even care. Oh, clutch. Wow, what can I say? I'm a total weeb. I just love that anime. Speaking of weebs, y'all watch Attack on Titan? That's a good ass anime. Fuck me, I missed both of them! I tried to get one of them and I missed both of them! Hey, Normie Take, Attack on Titan, good ass anime. I don't watch anime. Good for you. I tried watching it and got bored. Bruh. Couldn't get into it, couldn't get into it. Yeah, I couldn't get into it the first time I tried it either. But then I tried it again this year and I'm like hooked. I would watch a B movie anime though, I would too. It was cool, but yeah. The problem with Attack on Titan is that it's been going for like seven years. But there's only four seasons. Which is my way of saying that there's like two years between every season. So people just get like, people just forgotten about it. <laughs> Once a year I try to watch an anime and I'm able to finish it. I pretty much ration like one anime at a time in my rotation. So like I have like one like a sitcom, one anime, and then like maybe one like action show. Or like not action show, just like normal TV. So right now my normal TV is WandaVision. My anime is Attack on Titan. It's, well, actually, it's sort of Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan only releases once a week because, like, they're airing it live every week. So that doesn't really count. So, like, my normal go-to anime right now is JoJo. And then... Oh, was another thing. My sitcom? I'm kind of in between sitcoms right now. I don't really have a sitcom. I just finished Shit's Creek. Which is also a good-ass show. But, uh, kind of screwed. I don't have any other sitcoms to watch. All of these shows, they know Lord of the Rings. It's, the problem is I can't watch a movie on my lunch break, you know? Supercharge your life on a heady mix of honey and adrenaline. WandaVision count. I rate the Attack on TV DVD at the whole family video, but went out of business. Rip. WandaVision counts as a normal show. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But like it's not an anime and it's not a sitcom, so therefore it is in my it is in my bucket. Shit. Excuse me. Look how much faster I am in this race. But in race two, they're all just like insane. I've been watching Hinamoro Sumo. I love to have Pro Samurai. <laughs> okay. Is WandaVision good if I've never seen almost any Marvel movie? No. Hi, Rec. I mean, I, it's not bad. It's not bad, but... 
I wouldn't recommend it necessarily. You need someone there to like give you the like there's things that it's assumed that you'll know when you're watching WandaVision, and that's the problem I think. Uh, this run is like 12 seconds behind the other run, just on bad minigame RNG. You'd love to see it. I mean, meaning to get back to anime, just black time with 12-hour shifts. That's a good excuse. 12-hour shifts are a lot. How much time do you think you have compared to world record? How much time saved do you have compared to world record? Like two minutes? About? I only want to save like a minute at that, though. Because I literally died like three times in one of the missions. One of the rain missions. I just kept dying. I lost like a minute and a half. And then if I get good RNG, uh, good JJ calls in like the mid late game, then I can do a different mini game route that saves more time. Uh, but yeah, it's basically all randomness other than one mission where I can save like a minute and a half. It's all randomness. You'd love to see it. So my last run, I played really well, but I didn't get great RNG, other than one mission where I didn't play well. And so I can't really keep up with my early game in my last run. But I'll try. I'll sure as heck try. <sighs> oh god. Yugi screwed him. RN Yugi. I've just been watching like the normie shonen animes though. I've been catching up on them. Death Note. Attack on Titan. That shit. Full, Al Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Normal. Normie shit. I don't know what you just said, Big Red. So no. Sword Art Online, haven't seen that. Is that a normie anime? It sounds bad. The tap out t-shirt of anime? No, that doesn't make you a bad person. That makes you an accurate person. The Attack on Titan community is like so toxic though. Like you go on Reddit, so there's one character in the anime that is clearly like not a good person. But like he was one of the main characters in the prior, like I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like he was one of the main characters in the prior seasons. So now everyone's like rooting this this person on, like, yes, yeah, yeah, you do these awful things. And it's like, that's not the point. You're not supposed to root for this character, guys. Guys, like, he, the, the, he's a bad person. They're a bad person. Like, you can't. So, like, that's kind of a yikes, but it's fine. The show's trying to be philosophical, and the fans are like, no, 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 that's fine. That's the way to do it. Get it. I don't want to get hurt, so I max out defense. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know what you're saying, man. That's how I am with Loki and Marvel. Well, Loki's written to be more likable. All right. You'll sometimes come across enemy resistance. Dragonflies, wasps, and hornets won't hesitate to interfere with our work. The good news is they're allergic to pollen, and you got plenty. It's an anime. That makes sense. Like Boruto. Like Boruto, the next generation. Can I say, it's such a flex that Naruto canonically names his kid Boruto. Such a flex. Loki is like Vegeta, he has his good moments. I think that's true. 
Neither of them are like great people, necessarily. But they're likable. I'll agree with that. Okay, I need to not get lost here. I forget where the last flowers are. They're this way, right? So I'm gonna go this way, and then I'm gonna loop around. Okay, 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 okay. I think I know what I'm doing. That's right. I got, oh, got stuck on flowers. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I need more pollen anyway. Not what I wanted, but we'll take it. And I can literally lock onto any flower. Thank you. That's it. Very good. Okay. For you, me. I'm gonna refill on pollen real quick, and then I'm gonna go find the other. Good. The other. This is decent split as long as I don't die here. It's actually a decent pollen section, but, oh, as long as I don't die, which I might. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Don't even, don't even, guys, were you worried? I wasn't worried. Okay. The best part about Ruto is the original cast. True. I haven't seen it though, but I'll say true anyway. Naruto probably accounts for 10% of my personality build from childhood. <laughs> yeah, I watched a good bit of Naruto when I was a kid. Naruto and Dragon Ball. I didn't do Shadow Clone Jutsu. I didn't do the Shadow Clone Jutsu thing through Light Elemental School. Not at all. Definitely not. No, no, no. I definitely didn't do that. I definitely didn't do the uh, the hand signs for the uh, Chidori with my friends in the fourth grade lunch table. I definitely didn't. Don't don't sweat it, guys. I would never do that. That I was not that cringe. With ancient Egyptian powers, I, that sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh. Sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh to me. It wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. Ancient Egyptian powers. What else would it be? I don't know anime well enough. It was a normalish cartoon. What are ancient Egyptian powers? What does that mean? The kid wore a blue jumper. Hmm. Like, what is the power that an ancient Egyptian has? Sand? I don't even. I just don't understand. I think. Okay, go uh, that's not gonna work, is it? No, it did, okay. And then an anchor, but not sure. Let me do a bunch of whack supernatural stuff. Oh. An anchor. Whack supernatural stuff. Themed around Egypt. Hmm. I'm getting this weird, like, tip of my tongue phenomenon that I don't think I've ever seen this show. Like, I genu genuinely don't think I've seen the show, but, like, it just sounds like so many other kids' shows, you know? So, like, I feel like I must have seen it, but I definitely haven't. Okay, this is good. This is good luck so far. Someone should be coming out of the door right now. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Use your bay reflex. Ow. 
Okay, I just need to not die. I just need to not die. I just need to not die. I just need to not get okay, one more time. Thank you. Thank God. Bless up. Big Red does not know. We're screwed. Nice rain skip. Thank you. Oh, use my terminology. I like it. It is not literally free. Although it is, it is not that hard. I mean, first try every time, literally free. I'm so good at the game. Oh my god, immediate swing. No fear in this woman. That's hard, a crane skip or rain skip? Well, cranes is literally free. Mummy's alive, never heard of it. Cranes is literally free, and I fail rain skip sometimes. And I never fail cranes, so it's literally free. So, I guess uh, rain skip's harder. I'm really shaking, huh? I'm shaking at just the right uh, frequency to like vibrate the desk. Give up. Like in the hit movie Ocean's 13, where they vibrate the building at exactly the frequency to simulate an earthquake. Oh my god, these guys are really, oh my god, these guys are really swinging for the fences. I lost like just like six, six seconds. It's fine. We'll keep going. So it was the mummy base on the movies. B movie game run supremacy. Yes, Microsoft meme. Except this is my last run of the night. So if I have to reset this one, I switch to Mirror's Edge until the stream's over. It was about three sec six seconds. I was right. Welcome to uh, the B movie game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't have to reset this one. And we'll make it to the end. But if not, that's fine. Less B movie game. I'm not going to complain. I know my viewers will, because they just love the shit, Barry. You got off on the wrong side. I hate this dude. There are millions of bees in New Hive City, and all of them have cars. Big cars, small cars, fast cars, slow cars, and someone has to fix them all. Well, that someone could be you. Get their wheels spinning again while earning cash from citizens who are eager to get rides back on the road. Sound good? Finally, stop buffering. I'm glad. What happens if you redeem Nicelist twice? Um, I think someone's done that. Basically, you get a bold name, and I put a times two next to your name. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, it's not really a lot of benefits, but some people do it. You know, just the flex. Okay, race two. It's time. Just me and you. PB on car repair incoming? No, it's pretty bad. You've got a racing job on standby. Whew. A I'm gonna stand up in my chair. Gamer stance. Let's go. go, go, go. Okay. 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 That guy's ahead, but this is fine. Okay, you got a speed boost. You hate to see it. Can I please get a speed boost of some sort? Okay, this is good. This is good. That's perfect. This is perfect. Okay. As long as he doesn't get a a, a hexagon thing here and screw me over. Okay. I'm gonna try to just get out of the way. I'm gonna try to. Oh, I got him. GG. It's over. GG. You can do it. I can do it. Thank you. Thank you to all my fans, all my believers. We're playing the game. We're playing the game today. Okay, a lap race. But lap races are usually pretty free. 
I have lost this race before, though. Oh, and I got ganked by RNG. That's possible. They're all kind of hitting each other in the back there, though, so... Oh, did some guy broke away from the crowd. That's not good. That means he's gonna come after me. If they all target each other, that's ideal. But this guy's broke away from the crowd, so he's coming after me specifically. Okay, it's... I'm, I broke ahead of him, though, so I should be fine. Oh, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Oh, fuck. So on the try not to sing along Disney Channel version. I can't read on second. Channel version. They didn't even use Phineas and Verb. Talk about a fail. Yeah, that is kind of a fail. Phineas and Verb is all bops from start to finish. Great job. There's all of them are bops. I tried making a tier list of Phineas and Verb songs once, and I just fell short because they were just like all S and A tier. It's like, what's even the point, dude? How do they do it? How do they write all bops? All the time. Can the Papa Dragon fly? Super little bee. Moot man is redeemed hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. I will take a sip of water once I'm done with this mission, but this mission is kind of intense. Well, not intense, it just actually requires me to focus, like a little bit. Intense is maybe a strong word for it, huh? Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. That's a lot of dragonflies here. I did not remember there being this many. Seriously? They're like really after me right now too. Coming for blood. Safety. Okay, yeah, should be fine. Perfect timing. Wow, this dude this dude trying to to destroy the run with his hydrates. I respect it. I respect the chaotic energy. Chaos respect chaos. It's funny because whenever my friends in real life make D&D alignment charts, um, I'm usually lawful. Well, actually, I don't know. It depends. It depends. I think they usually put me in neutral. It depends. I was an RA in college though, so they'd usually put me on lawful just because of that. Ah, uh, the RA life. How I miss it. Calling the police because I smell marijuana. Waiting for the police to arrive because I smell marijuana. A lot of marijuana. Mostly marijuana. Gotta love being a narc. A narc for money. Narc for hire. My friends were in Discord VC for 11 hours. That is powerful. 
me and my friends don't do that. Well, some of my friends probably do, but I got I got I got sleep to do. BBGN says no to drugs. Exactly, dude. What can I say? Or rather, my campus says say no to drugs. So therefore. It's a long run. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, it's not short. It's not short. It used to be like two and a half hours, but we whittled it down. So it's closer to two now. Thank God. You can't get a world record in being really well on drugs. Just say no. That's what they should teach in school. That would actually convince the people. That's what kids. That's what kids don't learn in school, and that's the problem. Drugs will rot your teeth, they'll destroy your brain, and also you won't be able to get B-Movie Game World Record. 100% of people who have the B-Movie Game World Record right now don't do drugs. Have you taken that into account, kids? Youths. Just to let you know, you've got a taxi job still outstanding. Then off we go into a I've been already for most of my degree, and I'm trying to do it during a pandemic as health. Holy shit, Microsoft. Feel free to, like, you want to talk about it? Because, like, I can only, f you can vent to me. Like, I can only imagine. Especially because we had a, um, we didn't have a program-based model. We had a curriculum-based model. So, like, there were a lot of just, like, pre-planned curriculums we had to deliver. And, oh my god, it was just, I can only imagine that it was awful. I don't even know how we deliver that virtually, the curriculum that we had to deliver. Also, the RAs on my campus are fuming because everyone is going home after spring break, like, permanently. And unless you're one of the RAs who, like, is allowed to stay because they have a commitment. Like, uh, if you're an RA that's asked to stay, you get paid for the full year. But if you don't, then you just stop getting paid after spring break. So, like, that's kind of a... All the RAs are pissed on my campus. I still get, I still get the tea because... My friends are still RAs. But yeah. But like, it makes sense. Like, they're not going to pay you if you're not on campus. But like, also, I get why they're pissed. Because they were like, assured at the beginning of the year. They're like, no matter what happens, no matter what the university decides to do, like, you know, we're going to pay you for the full year. And they were like, okay, great, great, great. And then they get to this part of the year and they're like, actually, actually. But alas, that's that is uh that is state level bureaucracy for you. Mission accomplished. Great job. Would I rather do drugs or exploit bees? A question no one's asked, but I'm sure is on all of your minds. And it's a question I don't know if I feel comfortable answering. You know? If I was forced to choose, I don't know what I would pick. I'm dodging. I'm weaving. Weaving through traffic. Okay, that was good. Nectar is a critical ingredient in honey making and vital to New Hive City. Be a part of the team that goes for the gold. Join up as a crane operator today and help us <laughs> meet our quota. Another fine career opportunity brought to you by the Honex Corporation, a division of Honexco. We've got nectar to collect, and you've still got a job to do. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. 
visits are on teams at the moment. Oh my god. But campus Wi-Fi is so bad, it's, it's usually garbled and no use. We're losing most of the team to two last semester and three people. Oh my god. 130 rooms? Holy shit, dude. The most we... The, I had, I think, fuck. How many did I have? 60, I think? And like that was a like that was considered to be like the upper bound. Holy shit, dude! That's buck wild. Some are some. I have a big campus, and some RAs only have like 12 even on my campus. And like, and we're a big campus too. I need to read the rest of your message though. Seriously, wrong side, Barry. Just to let you know, you've still got a race outstanding. But because some of you we don't know who's on campus and who isn't. So many cri more crisis interventions, too. That's ironic, isn't it? Less staff, but more interventions? That's awful. We just don't use the stories in case of a lot of drugs. <laughs> exactly. Steroids are wacky. Like, you can just inject yourself with muscle juice. It's that easy. Good. He missed, thank god. I'm sorry to hear about that, though, Microsoft. That's gotta be rough. Like, at least you're getting paid. At least I hope you're getting paid. <laughs> but, um... I mean, I can't. I cannot imagine that it's easy. So my hat's off to you. Forty percent of our Discord viewers watching Family Guy. I don't know how to feel. Just, just some, uh, just the boys chilling watching Family Guy. I mean, hey, I, I've heard it's a good show. Haven't really seen it, but I've heard. Eleven hours in a VC. I think that's just like, I just don't have the social energy to do that. Like I stream for two to three hours, I'm exhausted. I play games for like three hours with my friends, I'm exhausted. Nice move. What do you watch? <laughs> I don't know. I watch. I watched Married at First Sight. That's a great show. Great show. Stellar. Not a single flaw in that show. I used to watch The Bachelor, but I stopped because it's just too time consuming. I now watch a Bachelor recap channel exclusively so I can keep up with Bachelor news, but I don't have to waste two hours a week. Uh, I watch a lot of cartoons, so I just watched Avatar and Legend of Korra. I'm watching JoJo right now. Uh, I've watched a lot of sitcoms. I watched all of Parks and Rec, all of Shit's Creek, all of The Good Place. Most of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I watch shows. I don't watch a lot of movies. I'll admit, I'll, I'll admit to that. But I watch a lot of shows. I've seen all of Rick and Morty. Like, I hate saying that, though, because now there's like a connotation. Like, I just think it's a decent show. Like, it's nothing fucking special at this point. But it's still pretty damn good. People just memed it to death. Oh god, what? That was so weird. What the heck was that? I need to watch Legend of Korra. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's worth watching if you really like Avatar. But it's not like in a must watch, I would say. But it's probably worth watching. Oh, looks like you're a net. Just to let you know, you've still got a race outstanding. Go, go! Some people love to like hate on Korra, and it's not that bad. Full speed ahead. People just like to, you know, oh, what hate on things. Perfect. And invincibility is the first power up is literally perfect. So let's hope we can keep this up. Another invincibility. Yes. 
thank the Lord. RNG is on my side this run. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. This makes up for everything. I'm a believer. Oh my god, another one? Thank you so much. That's fine. An oil spill? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Okay, let's cook. I'm gonna take an intentional hit here. There we go. It was the oil spills in reverse. Remember when I got six oil spills in a row? And I got now I got six uh, uh, invincibilities in a row. The, the the RNG has like literally balanced itself out. The yin and yang, you you could say. These slick dodges. I can't wait for the B movie game task. I might do all badges segmented. Not sure. Just because all badges seems like a lot of work. I, what would a task even do, like, differently? A segmented would be just as good. Like, frame perfect fucking barrel rolls, I guess. Really, I went for it. Better luck next time. But it's currently not possible. Oh yeah, I saw you inquiring about that. Being able to read QTE frame one. I don't know if that would save time though. I hate sword fight. Very easily dodged frying pan has trouble with attack. Well, this man's a master of attack. He's been trained, that's the difference. He's not just a caveman swinging it around. Look at his body, there's like a right angle in the body, angle of his body. Not a right angle, but like there's a distinct sharp point on his body. It's funny. No need to link build in wine plus task tools have very low compatibility. Yeah. Just one big two hour macro that has all the inputs mapped out. We have M task for Mirror's Edge. Maybe we have B tasks for uh for B movie game. We need Jerry. We need Jerry to come and give us a tool. This run's pretty good, though. Never say never, though.
trying to crack this game open, but no luck. I know, you were looking for the debug mode, couldn't find that. It's been rough, it's been rough. Roadblocks at every corner. Nice try. Not gonna lie, the sound glitch slaps. Someone make a beat. Someone remix it. Where's Toxic Egg when you need him? Yeah, I can only summon him with mirrors that streams. That's the problem. Forget Detective Conan. We got Detective Luma. Trying his best out here. More work than I put in. I just run the game. I'm just a little monkey. They put me in front of the keyboard. Like, ooh, old caveman. I got no brains. I can't be finding the skips or finding the task stuff. I got I got other people for that. I'm just monkey that play video game. Video game. The Buick. I don't know if it's a Buick. Got a mash for so long here. This is such sustained matching. I'm looking forward to when this run dies so I can do the Kahoot. Okay. Okay. He went right for the smoke. He went right for the smoke. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Smile, enemy of I think. I think I don't want to die here. I don't really know. Such an accurate depiction, exactly. That's what I admire about it. It's realism. I, I watched the B movie for its realism. Chalk up number four. One more row to do. I still want to do that B-Movie watch party. I Sorry, I didn't respond to your message, but I'm not opposed to it. I've just seen it so many times. And like, I don't think anyone would really come. Maybe if I scheduled it pretty far in advance. Like, no one, not everyone's enthusiastic about the B-Movie as I am, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe I'm underestimating my fans. My fans. I'm underestimating the people. The will of the people. The BBGN, the Belty Gang. The Belty Gang loves the B-movie. 
I know, listen, I get it. Funny, funny, sarcastic Jerry Seinfeld B. I get it. Jason, you don't have to convince me. I'm not the one that needs convincing here. Okay, not bad, not bad. I just gotta do the beekeeper fight. I love how this animation's canned, and he does it twice. Oh, please, we know one person is 20 time become 21. Yeah. I mean, they're just gonna keep coming, you know? You say B-movie, and it's just like... I can't get... They flock. Oh my god, I shook too hard. Classic me. Nice try. Okay, one more phase. Come on, shoot your shot, dude. Okay, he entirely missed. He stinks. Dude, you can't touch this, man. I'm too good at dodging. He's too strong. Okay, this, should, this one should get him. Give up. Keep it up. I'm playing out of my mind, dude. I'm playing out of my mind. Uh, Barry, you discovered the humans were stealing. I think I'm gonna split early, but still. Dun 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 can't touch this. Okay. I mean, now that I'm not behind, I can continue with bad RNG, but like, let's cross our fingers that we get good RNG. Honeycomb's not open, that's weird. Usually is around this time. Mm. No, no, it's not. Never mind, never mind, never mind. That's normal. I get confused sometimes. Okay. At Hunnix, we recognize that honey is the water of life to New Hive City. If you have the right skills, you can be the one who directs those waters for shipping and storage. Do a good job and you'll be rewarded. Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Would you like me to go over that again? On down. Always the three psycho with this one. There you go. Great, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, Barry. Go around this guy the long way. Uh, I gotta weave between these guys, perfect. Traffic, man. Traffic's awful today. Less RNG. Okay. I, I want to do three honeycombs, please. Three honeycombs. No JK. At least two. That That's what I need for this run to, like, not be completely dead. We'll see, though. We've got honeycombs to collect, and you've still got a job to do. We'll see. Go, go. Okay, let's pop off, boys. Our fate has been sealed. Now we just have to see what kind of RNG we get. I actually don't know when the RNG starts and ends. I don't know if our... Maybe it's something I do during this minigame influences whether or not I get call. I literally have no idea. We don't know what causes it. Maybe I don't have that emo anymore. Less RNG. Was that an emo? Oh yeah, this one. Weird. Hmm. 
Okay. Not a lot of RNG in this in Mirror's Edge though, so that's why I don't have a custom one for it. Most of the games I run don't have RNG. Except this one, which has all of the RNG. Please, 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 please. please. Yes, 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 yes. I can work with this. Hani Mitsubashi. People are still actually trying to beat the world record, huh? Nah, just me. Just me and a guy named Instigator. I just got done streaming this and almost died. Oh my god. How'd your how'd your playthrough go? Were you speedrunning it or just like playing it for funsies? You're doing great. Come on, come on, come on. Clutch! I got them both. I just missed one, didn't I? I looked away for a half second and the honeycomb slipped through my fingers. Hey, you're getting the hang of it. I was totally talking about trying to speedrun this too. It's like a little bit too optimized at this point. Playing for funsies. Well, good for you. Tell me about your experience with it. Positive or negative? And you don't have to sugarcoat it. Because I have been exposed to the cruel realities that this game presents. But I love to get people who are fresh out of their uh, their B-movie game playthrough. And get their thoughts on it. Fuck. It's unlucky. I can still maybe get a good cycle though. Fuck. Never mind. I can't. Now it's impossible. Oh, no, no, it's not. I need to get every honeycomb that falls here. Got it My channel is a bee nostalgia theme. A bee theme? Excuse me? Great. That should get us closer Instant to follow. Point. Instant you follow. Bee nostalgia theme is so themed to fit. I grew up with the game and liked it as a kid, but damn, I hate the <laughs> mini games. <laughs> the mini games are so bad! They're so bad! And it's so unclear, like, how many minigames you have to do to progress the story. It's just like, the game throws you into a gauntlet, and it's like, just do minigames until you drown. And it does not make it clear, like, oh, don't worry, you only have to do six. That's actually how the mechanics work, in case you don't know. You have to do six minigames before it lets you do a story mission. But, like, it doesn't tell you that. It barely tells you that. It tells you that in one location. But never verbally. So you have to just, like, figure it out. The mini game. Oh my god, Taxi's awful. So, like, for the speedrun, you don't have to do every minigame, right? There's a there, We actually tactically skip the slow ones. And we skip, like, almost every single taxi. Because all of them are so gosh darn long. We do all of the races, though. The races are fast as fuck. Drafter? Fa honey drafter? Fast as fuck. This one? Fast as fuck up to a point. <laughs> I only do... This is the last uh, honeycomb I'm going to do in the whole run. Unless I get bad RNG, in which case I will do a fifth honeycomb. But I have to get really bad RNG. Oh, yeah. To, to, to incorporate this into the route. I was screaming during one taxi minigame. I don't blame you, man. Taxi's so rough. That's the idea. We've routed it out of the speedrun, don't worry. You have to do like two taxis in total, and just the fast ones. We thought the most efficient way of collecting honey. I, it's fun though, isn't it? What if living and not grinding the B-movie game speed strats? That's a good question. That's a good question. And I would say you're not living if you're not grinding. Or, you're doing great. Just to be honest with you. Kind of... Okay, for GA call, that's not perfect, but pretty close to perfect. Please tell me you have a Discord. I'm totally down to speedrun the shit. Yeah, I do. Go to speedrun.com, search B Movie Game, um, and it should be linked. There's actually three different versions of the game. Um, the PC community right now is the most active, although there are runs for the B the Wii version, the DS version as well. So, pick your poison. I I'm assuming you were playing the PC version or. Um, this version of the game, but I guess I don't know that for sure. I died, I died, I died, I died, I died, I died. What happens here? Oh, never mind, nothing bad. I just lose like five seconds. That's fine. <laughs> I like never die there. I'm on a PS2 emulator. The PS2 version is the same as the PC version. Um, they ported the PS2 and the Xbox version over to PC, is my understanding. Um, except the load times on PS2 are atrocious, and they're really good on PC. Hey, don't 
don't forget about the mechanic job you still have to do. Same unfortunate way. But yeah, join the Discord. Hang out. We're a we are a, uh, a chill bunch. There's a few of us that are active, although it's a small uh, but intimate community. You know? I like to think. We all know each other. The PS2 models and colors are disgusting. Yeah! Yeah, they are. One person has submitted a speedrun of the PS2 version. Everyone else plays on PC. Because the PC version, you can find it on the internet for free. Not saying that you should, but a lot of people do. It's the one I grew up on. Nostalgia is a powerful drug, ain't it? They can convince you to play this atrocious game. Mechanic is not bad, but it's like it's a lot like Honeycomb, where only like the first four or so are fast. Uh, after that, it just gets so long and it's so repetitive. So it's probably my least favorite. And this one's so hard, you've just got to spin the big circle. It hurts my arm. So this is the sixth mini game of the six we need to do to spawn the next version of oh, next mission. So once we finish this, we're going to um, go back to Barry's house. They made a game of this movie. Yeah, not as good, obviously, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they made it into a into a movie. This is actually adapted from a novel, as you know. Jerry Sample wrote the hit novel, The Bee Movie. So we actually, instead of driving to Barry's house, it's faster to quit and reload. Speedrun.com has your personal Discord, but not a server. Oops. I'm here with Are you Barry sure? B. Benson. Yikes. Sorry. Well, if you message me on Discord, I will send you the link to the server. The game for <laughs> That's true, honey, that's true. The game came out two or three days before, so really Barry is Barry's eligible for Smash, I would say, yeah. I don't think a bee can fly that fast. But he, you've never met Barry. He's jacked. He's cracked. This part of the speedrun is actually hella stressful, because there's no way I can save time, but there's ample opportunity to lose time. Oh, this is the part of the game where Barry kills someone. You ready? To watch a man's life end? Rip. It was the coffee. It was the coffee and the crumb cake. From Vanessa. He does love that crumb- Oh, Cinnabon. He loves Cinnabon. I- We get- We all- We've all been there. These character models are really something. What's great about them is there's only like six character models. So if you look in the background while we're driving along the city, it's just like the same six character models over and over. This kid, you've seen him before. This lady, you've seen her before. This guy on the right, you've seen him before. A oh, hot dog guy, my favorite NPC, let's go. We stand hot dog guy. I should make him an emote, an FFC emote. I gotta work on that. Squeeze that bottle. Squeeze it until the ketchup comes out. Bad boy. Look this dude. This Olympic level athlete chasing me down. He's literally running a block in like ten, five seconds. Absolutely insane. Mental. These robots, you've seen them before? Yeah, they just repeat. If you're joking about that guy you met with the lawyer dude at dinner, it's just totally reused model. Oh yeah, true. True. I mean, the game reuses so many resources. It's it's hilarious. This is the worst sound glitch I've ever experienced in my life. Does the PS2 have sound glitch? I don't think it does. It does have sound glitch? I thought that was exclusive to the PC version. Oh my god, that's pog as hell. How did you how do you feel about the sound glitch? Legend has it, the the, the speedrunners of yore say that the better your sound the more sound glitches you have, the better your run. That's what the common uh, the myth says. 
I try to get as many as possible. Started moaning during the flying section. Yes. It's just the sound effects re repeat for some reason. Oh, it's it's on all of our mods. Don't worry. Ironic though, we talked about how the game reuses so many models, but for whatever reason, even though they reuse models, they developed a whole sewer section here. And look how many unique, like, the unique stuff is in the sewer section. And that's it. We never go in another sewer for the whole rest of the run. Talk about how loud the rain is. Oh my god, the rain is so hard. And loud and awful. There's a rain section coming up. It's actually a really cool... You can kind of cheese the rain sections. I'll show you. It's sick. I lost like a minute and a half. That's my biggest time save in this run is in the rain section. So hopefully I don't mess it up again. You have a feeling it's reused from another game? True, actually. That might be true. Or like the, it, it's from a cut level or something. Okay, I gotta go annoy this guy. This guy is so fast. He swings hard and fast. Look at, him, look at him just rotate that phone. I thought the sound glitch, the other sound glitches went away. They're still there though. Okay, come on. Gotta take a picture of this to progress. Oh, also it's faster to barrel roll diagonally than it is to fly straight forward. I don't know if you figured that out, but it's like 10% faster. I remember his taxi as bad as Saints Row Escort is for me. Saint Row Escort. Any Escort mission is bad, so I can only imagine in Saints Row. Okay, soup guy. Puts a spoon down to swing. Misses completely. And then, then we got him, boys. We got soup guy. Nice try. Oh, we're losing time here. I guess bad honeycomb RNG. That's unlucky. I guess it wasn't great, but it wasn't. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh well, rip. Actually, uh, that kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. I should save that time back later, I think. But friend request sent on Discord. Pleasure to meet a fellow bee lover. I'm I'm always happy to have another bee appreciator on my friends list. It's a rare or a rare breed. Okay, that's another split. Here's the rain section. So I'll show you how you can cheese this. It's kind of dope. So when you're bail rolling, so bail rolling moves you faster, like I said, but when you're bail rolling, your B reflex doesn't go down. So if you like perfectly time the barrel rolls, you can go like insane distances. I gotta go up here so I don't get hit by the car. But yeah, you can get like all the way across the whole street without having to like take cover. Have I not played Saints Row? I played Saints Row 4, I think. The one with like superpowers and shit. But like, I haven't played the older ones. My parents didn't let me play Saints Row growing up or GTA. Which is like fair. Saints Row wasn't that good. GTA is kind of a bummer, but Saints Row is not really that good from what I've heard. I'm gonna take cover here for a second. Refill my reflex. Okay. So I'm gonna get above street level, and then I'm just gonna beeline, no pun intended, to the um. Yeah, the barrel rolling sick. You can get so far. You can really pop off. Okay, so let me get this straight. To find the access codes, I've got to get into their computer. Oh, this is oh, not you good. Have got to be kidding. Oh, we're here. We're here. We're about to do the, the thing you were talking about. I'll, I'll read your message in a second.
There's not only an emo button on the keyboard, but one part where you press a button on somebody's no, computer and it does nothing. <laughs> yeah. This part of the game's good. So that first one, his, you have to distract him, right? So that that one's easy. And this one, you have to do an irritation mini game. This guy's so aggressive. This is the most aggressive NPC in the game, IMO. He swings hard and fast. Okay, that's one cycle done. And then you gotta get back in there for round two. Okay, good. Fuck your irritation minigame. I've got it down with science, don't worry. Slaps himself in the face. Okay. Then with the face slapped, you just uh... McDonald's him. I just did a run at ESA, the European Speedrunner Assembly, uh, with full commentary if you want to go watch that. Me and a couple of my friends did like a full run with full commentary, and it's pretty entertaining, I think. But actually, it's not on YouTube, so Two down, one maybe, not the, maybe not a good rec yet, but once it gets on YouTube. But yeah, if you have any questions about any other parts of the run, you just want to vent about the run. I love to talk about the B-Movie game. You have to go to like their YouTube channel and find the VOD though. I think their Twitch channel is ESA Marathon. Twitch.tv slash ESA Marathon. But yeah, it's cool. But I'll still do commentary obviously and answer any questions now. You're able to hit the PC yeah, button but it does see? nothing. Right, it doesn't turn off his PC. He just turns it back on if I remember right. Okay. But it was all a setup, oh no! Okay. So there's exactly 25 Hornets in this room. So I can't, like, miss any of them. Okay, great. I got all those guys. Oh god, I'm getting absolutely yeeted by these guys right now. There's still one guy back that I need to go get. Come on. There we go, got him. Okay, and that should be all those guys. They'll disappear in a second. Yep, great. Is that all of them? There he is, there he is, the last one. Oh wow, big time save, holy shit. Damn. Big time save. Oh yeah, this is that was the split where I had the time save. I knew I was gonna get that time save. Fantastic, okay, we're on world record pace. Oh wait, I meant to do mechanic four, didn't I? Shit. Oh well. I misread my route. Lost a few seconds, that's fine. How long have I been speedrunning? Um... So I've been speedrunning since like 2014, although I didn't start with the B-Movie game. I started with a Mirror's Edge, if you've ever played that. It's like a first-person parkour game. And that's probably my main speed game. I have like almost 2,000 hours in it. Um, I've gotten some world records over the course of a few years, although I've lost many of them at this point because everyone else is better than me. Um, but I've also picked up like other random speed games along the way. I've done a bit of Dishonored, a little bit of Portal. Uh, recently I've been doing a lot of Bug Snacks, a lot of B-Movie game, and then still doing Mirror's Edge. Uh... Why do you want to speedrun this game out of all the games? Uh, opportunity. A bunch of the Mirror's Edge shit. I... A bunch of the Mirror's Edge guys and I, we all did a blind race before the game was even on speedrun.com. 
Uh, I ended up winning the race. And then after that, I was like, well, if I have the world record, technically, um, I should probably improve it. So I did, like, one more run, and I improved it. Ooh, perfect. JK call. That's great. And then once I had, like, improved world record, um, someone came back and beat it by, like, a minute using the exact same route as me, right? And I was like, oh, this shit's dumb. So I, like, rerouted the whole game and got world record again. And then, like, a few years later, someone did the same shit, like... They used my same route and they poached my world record. And I was like, this is bullshit. So I came back and I got world record back. <laughs> and then like just in December of 2020, I put out like a $40 bounty. Uh, me and some other guy pitched in like 40 bucks to anyone who could get the B-Movie game world record. And then a runner named Instigator did it. Um, and because he got world record at the end of 2020, I was like, well, here, ah shit, here we go again. <laughs> so I came back one more time and I've been really working on like actually improving it. Um, I rerouted it a whole game again. Um, and I think now we've got, we're at a place where it's like really pretty optimized. At the end of 2020, the world record was like a 217 and now it's a 205, as you can see, or 20451 rather. So we've come a long way. I still can't believe you know you lost Office. Yeah, I used to have the Office world record. I, it was the longest standing time trial world record in Mirror's Edge. But uh, arguably the best runner in the whole game, who has like twice as many hours as me, uh, grinded and beat it. So GG's to him. I can't be mad. That was one of my biggest memes. Forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby. Things that should go on resume speed of burgers. I wish, I wish. I wonder if there's any weird glitches no one has found yet. I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. I'm not great at finding glitches. It's really not my specialty. Um. So like. Yeah, I would implore you if you. If you can find some glitches, some skips, I would really appreciate it. Mayhaps, mayhaps. I... The game is surprisingly rock solid, though. Really, the holy grail would be to find a way to skip either the mini games or a way to like trick the game into thinking you've done more mini games than you have. Or even if you found a way to like manipulate when we get JG calls, that would also be clutch as hell. Like, there's a few clutch skips I think would be would be best. I need to do 7, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Hey, citizen, you've got a race to finish. You think it'd be full of glitches, ice. but it's solid AF. Yeah. A few T poses? I don't think that happens on PC. It's probably a loading go, thing. Go. He's in a tough scrape. Okay, so all the NPCs are going to, like, swerve here and try to kill me. Okay. Get wrecked. Okay, okay, okay. I need to pass this guy, and then I'm in the clear. I can probably get some... I can catch up to him a lot on the curves. He, they always take... The, the NPCs take the turns really badly. Okay. I'm gonna let him shoot a shot. Okay, there we go. Oh, he also got a speed boost? That's unlucky. But I'm still almost ahead. Please be an invincibility. Thank you. Okay. Now we're ahead. Bless up. Yeah, races in this game, like, races are probably the biggest reset point, because you can lose, if you get bad luck, like, you can lose these races very, very easily. There's one race where I think I win, like, 50% of the time on a good day. It's race two, specifically. Race two is ass. Uh, don't worry, Misha will take office back. <laughs> uh, you have been binging my videos. Yeah, Misha's an office expert. Fun fact, in real life, Misha and I work in the same office. So like, she's she has the same office skills that I do. Like literally, you know? 
For those who aren't in the loop, Misha's my girlfriend. I make videos with her sometimes on the YouTube. The races are the most fun. I agree. Unfortunately, this is probably the last race you'll be seeing in the route. I do all the races at this point because it's faster to like do all of one mini game than it is to like jump between the mini games. So yeah, this is the last. These are the last two races you'll see. My girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. And I gotta turn around here. I know what you're thinking. It's a paradox. How can he have the B movie game world record and have a girlfriend? I know. I know. Everyone's confused. Speedrunners? Dating? Impossible. That's either really great or really horrible. It makes the commute easy. Or will make the commute easy. We're both working from home right now. Um, but we're eventually going to be moving closer to the office. And when we do, uh, the commute is going to be very easy. Working with your partner is great. I do agree. I think it just depends on, like, everyone's relationship is different, right? But, like, I don't know. I'm the kind of person, and this isn't... This is I'm not necessarily saying this is the right way to do it, but like me in my personal experience, I've built a lot of my relationships like from a friendship. Um and so like yeah, I don't mind like like I have a lot of respect for her. Um like she's as smart as me, if not smarter, you know. In a lot of ways she is smarter. So like she's someone that I, I actually do work really well with. It's been really great. Just to let you know, you've still got a race outstanding. I actually just started the job, like, last week. Not to get too personal, but, like, literally, like, I'm brand new to this job. I just uh, quit my old job and got this new one. Um, and she's been really helpful in the onboarding process. <laughs> so it's it's nice to have someone I can kind of lean on uh, with questions. And also, she's just, like, I don't know, we just communicate really well. So I love having her to be able to, like, explain things to me in a way that makes sense to me, you know? You and your mom queue together? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I'd love to be able to commute with my family. That'd be cool. But my mom's a teacher and my dad works from home, so it's not really going to happen. Work from home life is pretty baller, though. Other than the fact that I sit at this desk for like 12 hours a day, it's pretty baller. That's my one complaint, is I wish I had a separate desk for work, like in my house. But there just isn't the space for it. Because I'm still in my parents' house. You and your boyfriend work together. Oh, that's awesome! That's really cool. Factory slaves. Hey, job's a job. You won't hear me judging. I'm Jeanette Chung. Hey, there's actually a glitch here um, that's probably worth explaining to you. So there's a glitch where um, if you get caught by one of these, you probably remember this mission. You probably remember getting caught like 1,200 times by these like security uh, secret agents. But there's actually a glitch where if you get caught by one of the security agents and then you quit and reload the game, like during the animation where you get caught, they'll their pathing will get screwed up permanently for the whole rest of the time you have the game open. So what's going to happen now is that you can actually see that guy in the corner there. He All of the enemies pathing is going to get so screwed up that they're all going to walk right out of bounds. And for the whole rest of the mission, they're not going to be here. These knockoff Kaiba Corp agents. That's funny. That's really funny. I love the Kaiba Corp reference. So yeah. So basically, because I set up the glitch um, prior to this run, I set the glitch up. So now they're going to all walk out of bounds, and I won't have to worry about them for the whole rest of this mission, which is awesome. 
Makes his mission so much faster. Those guys are like legends. There's no way to avoid them, even if you're like an experienced speedrunner like me. These spuds are dud. Okay. Clicked. Pizza two snacks. That's so smart. It's lucky. I mean, we just we found the despawn like pretty well. Initially, we didn't. We, it's actually a pretty recent glitch. So we knew that sometimes the enemies would despawn, and it would happen a lot when I was like practicing the mission. And it turns out the reason it would happen a lot while I was practicing is because I would, you know, I quit out every time I got caught, and I try something else. Someone, uh, the other runner of this game right now, Instigator, realized like, oh. You know what causes it? It's it's the thing you're doing when you practice. It's quitting out during the getting caught animation that causes the, their pathing to be screwed up. And so we started implementing it into runs. And then I realized, oh wait, I can actually set this up before my run. Like before I even like go start my playthrough of the game, I can set this glitch up. So now that's what we've been doing ever since. Yeah, it's sick. Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby, ready to go. I'm big brain. What can I say? My Yukio is coming in clutch. <laughs> A lot of Yukio emotes in chat today. A lot of Yukio emotes. You're not the first person to do that. See, Big Red has them too. Is that like some? Is there like a streamer who has Yu-Gi-Oh emotes, or is it just coincidence? I gotta get out. I gotta get out of this this uh, scooter. It's so slow. I gotta switch cars. All right, going to cranes. We're on a good pace though. We're on good pace. This is a really good run. This one's my own emote. Woohoo! And it's my character, but it's the Joey meme. That's really cool. I don't know if there's any subs in chat. My face is my sub emote right now. Although I just commissioned some really cute, like, not anime, but like, I don't know, like, cutesy, cartoony emotes. So I'm waiting on those from the artist right now. They're probably going to be done in like a few weeks. But right now, it's my face. Just being dumb. Memeing in front of the camera. You know how it is. Using my theater skills to my advantage. That's fine. I didn't mean to do... I didn't mean to do... Cranes 4, but that's fine. I had to do it eventually. Dave has this one. He speedruns FF7. Nice. I don't watch a lot of FF7 speedruns. I've never played FF7. It's my, it's one of my biggest embarrassing great. moments. A friend made them for me. Oh, you've got so many. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. I'm leaning in to see the details. They're so cool. You've got a talented friend. How long have you been streaming for? More. You're doing great. By the way, we're going to be doing this for the next like five minutes, so get comfy. This is optimal. It's not fun, but it's optimal. I started streaming in December, so two months? Oh, damn! You already got four emotes? You're popping off. I just got my third emote slot. 
like a few weeks ago. But like I, I haven't, I have not been a, a great streamer. Where is where most of my people come from? Gotcha. Okay. That's sick. Congratulations. That's really awesome. Good job. That'll help our quota. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, honey. Enjoy your emotes. They'll they'll be cute ones by the end of the month. Oh shit. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Belty Gang. The name that I have invented that I don't regret. Seriously though, thank you. Glad you enjoy. Glad I could entertain you for an evening. Uh, and hopefully we'll get a world record out of this. If we're lucky. <laughs> Belty Gang. Hey, you're getting the Babies? Oh, that's so cute. Belty Gang, you know, I think I said it out loud, and I instantly regretted it, and that's how I knew that, that it would stick, you know? That's how I knew it would stick. More that one's actually brand break. new. Black B9 champ. That one's brand new. Because I don't, I don't like the current Pog Champ emote. And like, well, I didn't like the old one either, because the guy's kind of an ass out, right? But like, I didn't like, I don't like the new one that Twitch implemented either, so I was like... You know, supply and demand, baby. I gotta fulfill. The world needs a Pog Champ emote. I don't like any of the new Pog Champs. Exactly. It's tough, man. Like, why did the bad man have to have such a good face? You know? You know? I I took solace in the fact that, um. Gutex, who the PogChamp is phased off of, kind of hates PogChamp. He hates that it's like a meme. So I took solace in that. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Kind of a dickhead. And I'm sure a lot of it comes from a place of, like, not being educated. But, like, at this point, he's a full-ass adult. Like, I can't give this man a pass, you know? For the things he's continuously said. So. But his face is really funny. A tale as old as time. Ah, uh, yes. Alas, don't you hate when someone has a real good face, but a real bad personality? That's why I go for the opposite approach. <laughs> You're doing great. Kidding, a little self-deprecating humor never hurt anyone. Keeps you humble. You're doing great. Shit! Just lost three seconds. Don't mind me. Excellent work. Every Shit. Win, we've got nectar to collect, and you still got a job to Oh, it looks like I lost my death and I had to get all my stuff because someone got a hold of my car somehow. Oh yikes! Sorry to hear that. Red. Yeah, it's a paid in the ass. I use PayPal, so like, they go straight into my bank account for a lot of like my recurring stuff, so that doesn't happen to me. I love PayPal. I feel old-fashioned every time I tell people I use PayPal, but I don't know. It's sick. I love PayPal. Hey, I don't show my guy. face. Yeah, I, I get it. I only recently became comfortable with face scam. And, like, it's just, like, six years of streaming, you know? I did a uh, Games Done Quick, and, like, that was pretty... I don't know. Like, once you go on Games Done Quick, and, like, 20,000 people are looking at your face, it's like, who, who the fuck cares, you know? Like, I ripped the band-aid off on that one. PayPal's rad. Exactly! See, all my friends were using Venmo when I was in college. They were like, Venmo me, Venmo me. I was like, I got PayPal, dog. I was like, no, you got a Venmo me. So I had to get a Venmo. So now I have a Venmo and a PayPal. But they serve different purposes. I feel like PayPal is like the corporations and the boomers use it. And then, like, Venmo is what, like, literally everyone else uses, so. Every little bit helps. Okay, I need to focus so I don't miss any. But this is my last uh, minigame, actually, if you've been counting. You're doing great. So I can, uh, I can move on to the next story mission.
A very popular streamer reviewed my stream recently live on her. The scary number or 5k you saw your VOD live. Oh, that's spook. Especially 5k people like you were not expecting, you know? Like, they're not there on your terms, you know? That's a weird feeling. But, like, sick. We really only use PayPal in Scotland. Oh, interesting. Oh, shit. I forgot to dodge. It's okay. There's no consequence. Don't you love when your actions don't have consequences? I was so scuffed. <laughs> scuffed streams are the best streams, though. It's authentic. It's authentic. It's all live, folks. You know? I met the Jewish girl at the Jewish app. What was the app called? Oh, yeah, PayPal. Oh, I don't like that. It's just a stereotype. I don't like that joke. I'm sorry. It's okay, better luck next time. Get back at him. Oh, he just said the same thing as me! That was sick! Was that subconscious? I don't even know. The models on PC are so much better than PS2. My PC's got power. It's got power. I cannot believe Barry just... Barry owes me a Coke, dude. And what do you think Van would say about this right now, huh? Not really much I can do to speed the section up. Story of the game, really. Okay. So I have to go through two cycles of quick time events with the shower um, thingy. What do you call that? Oh, sick. That was fast. Literally, every time I get stuck in that magazine for that part of the run, I'm like, oh god, COVID. Uh, it's so spook. Germs are so spooky. My PC's boopy too. What are you running? Uh, I have... Oh god, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible with specs. Uh, I built the PC back in, like, the end of 2015. It was like a, it was like a ooh, you got it to college present from my parents. Um, you can tell I'm middle class. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> No, they helped pay for it for, like, Black Friday, so I got the parts cheap. I think I pitched in, like, half to. But anyway, I get, it's like a i7 4790K quad-core, so, like, a pretty good processor. And then a uh, GTX 970 NVIDIA graphics card. So the graphics card's, like, a little lagging behind now, but I'm trying to upgrade to, like, a 3060 in the next, like, year or so once uh, the parts are available. Okay, one word. Of course, I'm glad I have a I'm glad I have a beefy PC so I can play the same three games from 2007 over and over again. Thank God. Real real smart use of money on my part. Nah, I, I play a lot of games. I don't just speedrun. Some people call themselves movie buffs, and I would definitely consider myself a game buff. In that same sort of vein. Listen to a lot of podcasts, read a lot of news. You know, some people follow sports. I just follow game releases. Everyone's got hobbies. Yeah. Tell me about yours, though. Oh, you did. Great. <laughs> I built mine back in November, so it's got a Ryzen 7 and NVIDIA 2060. Sick. I was going to get the 2060. I was, like, talking to a friend. I was like, ooh, I'm going to get a 2060. And they were like, dude, the 3060 is coming out, like, next month. And I was like, okay, I get it. I won't get it. I won't get the 2060 then. I'm spooked though. I had my PC like built uh, on a site called iBuyPower. So like they build it for me and ship it to me. So like I've never like opened a PC. Like I've never cracked one open and tried to like replace parts. So I'm kind of spooked about when I have to do that. Barry the Master Dodger. Uh, give me some credit here. Thank you very much. Dude, gamers love GPUs. I don't know what it is. I get it. GPUs are what drive games. 26 like 700 bucks right now? Yeah, that's a yikes. Theoretically, if you can get a 3060 on stock, it's going to be the same price, Good. but scalpers, you know? Okay, not bad. Okay, I need to go do your after. So this is the last bit of 
luck in the run. So at some random point during the next three to four minigames, I'll get a call to J-Gate, and it'll lock me out of doing any minigames. In a perfect world, the perfect RNG would be that I can do all three um, Drafter minigames. I can do Drafter 2, Drafter 3, and Drafter 4 before the game locks me out and makes me do a J-Gate call. So fingers crossed. But I have a backup plan um, that probably only loses like 20, 30 seconds. So like the run is not dead by any means if I get bad RNG, but it would definitely um, it would solidify this as a really solid run if I could get good RNG. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Hey, it's just a good movie. Here we go. Set up for a TG2060. I know it's going to get a cheap 36 day continue. Makes sense. It's a good movie. I like Soundblood. I've never seen B-Movie. If you like Seinfeld, you should watch B-Movie. It's got the same like absurd dryness that Seinfeld has. Um, it's very distinct. But like you have to be in for like, you, you got to be in the right mindset. Like it's a trip, man. I would say it's a it's weird, but not awful. Yeah, I agree. It's got jokes for all ages, but like in a really weird way. I don't know. I would certainly recommend it, though. Just once. Watch it with friends. Like, I can't even recommend it as a drunk movie is the problem. Like, it's too, like, abs like it's too absurd. Okay, that's fine. Not great RNG, but I can work with this. So I'm going to lose a lot of time on this split, and I'm going to gain a lot of that time back on the next split. So this is fine. Come on, I got to go kill these guys. Okay, let's get a fast, uh, let's get a fast <laughs> thing here. Yeah, it's okay, I'll defend you. Yeah, I gotta turn back around. They're all behind me. Okay, get over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, kill these guys. Sniper B, damn. I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. There are so many weird jokes even in the game, like the joke about Orthodox bees not eating honey on Sundays. Yeah, it's the game is it's questionable. I will repeat the joke uh, on stream, even though it's a bit of an edgy joke, so bear with me. But there's a joke in the B movie. It's a background gag where there's a newspaper article on the wall, and um. Like, the guy is, like, selling a newspaper article, and if you, like, zoom in on the newspaper article, the headline is, B stings five and then self. And it's just like, that joke did not age well in today's climate, you know? But it's just buck wild that, like, this B movie has that joke in it, you know? Like, bleh, like, what? Jerry, what the fuck are you doing? Murder time, fun time, yeah. Oh my god, please, dude. I found that there's also no hundred percent speedrun. There's no hundred percent speedrun in the game, which I'm surprised. I, I've theory crafted a hundred percent run, and it's a nightmare. You have to do like every mission damageless. Shit! What am I still doing? Pizza five. I lost like three seconds there in the route and reading my no wrote notes. It sucks. It blows. <laughs> Because you have to do, like, every mission damageless. You have to get every pollinate every flower in every mission. You have to speedrun some of the missions. So you're going to have to replay the missions multiple times. You're going to have to find every collectible. You have to get a high score in every arcade game. I don't even know if you win in the arcade during your playthrough. But, like, the arcade missions are awful. <laughs> and they take forever. You have to get a high score in all of them. It's it's nutty. It's too much. I, I, I haven't been able to commit to it. And I'm, like, the only one who has... The, the willpower to do it. I'm like Thanos. Like, I'm the only one who has the willpower to make such tough choices. It's probably... Uh, I would estimate that it'd be like eight hours, yeah. And thus, I haven't done it. 
The games are like shitty flash games. They're like bad. They're not good. It's not it's not anywhere in the speedrun, luckily. It's uh, entirely optional, so we love to see that. We really stand. Pizza sticks next. Right on. That's it. Food out. Cash in. All girls wishing to be invited to the team's annual ball and banquet. Please reply. Button. Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby. Ready to go whenever you are. Then off we go. Need to be careful how you drive. Oh, that's shit, dude. That's shit. Oh, oh, we got stuck. Never mind. He got unstuck. That's that's tough. Get out of the way! I need to push him out of the way. There we go. Get, get out of the way, car. Oh my god. SMH, dude. Losing time to bad car RNG. Yeah. You can also balance them with your mouse. Oh, wait. You don't have a mouse. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Also, these scooters drift all over the place. And it's, like, absurd. Okay. There we go. I need a car. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Food out, cash in. Attention, citizens of New High City. Tired of that same old job. Explore a golden land of opportunity and adventure with Honic. Please, please, please. I need pizza nine next. Okay. BBG Ed can dedicate free time to you, but not that much free time. No, 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 no. I got, a, I got a life to live here. You know. You still got some orders to fill, citizen. You, I mentioned that girlfriend. She like wants me to like pay attention to her, and it's kind of buck wild because it's like, babe, I need to play the B movie game. You know. Like, babe, listen, I would love to love and support you, but I've got to play the B movie game. You know. I left her on red right before I started streaming. Cause just by accident, like I forgot to respond and she called me out and I was like, Shh. whoops, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Babe, I need to, I need to do an all badges speed run. I need to do 100% speed run. Babe, you understand, I'm sure. It's okay, She at this point she's known me long enough that she's accepted that this is her life. Please. One more pizza, one more pizza. He's gonna drop it right here. And then I can split off. Bye, pizza guy. I'm delivering. Unclear if he's a rival pizza guy that I'm, like, snagging pizzas off of. Or if, like, I'm just picking up the slack of my uh, bad employees. Excellent job, citizen. The aliens you get for Barry Benson is understandable. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Skirt! Gotta do pizza 10 now. Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby. Babe, Ready I to go gotta get this world record. Are. God, I'm the whole income. Babe, I gotta get my subs. There's so many meals stacked. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Babe! God! I played in the B-movie game for us! Babe! God. I love saying babe in that voice. It's just like, I, I feel it's just so right for the character. I don't know. You know? Shit, shit, shit. I'm dropping. They're dropping like flies. I hate how the pizza's honeycomb shaped. Everything is honeycomb shaped. Girlfriend plays B movie game win. I don't think it's gonna happen, fellas. Whoa! So many bits! Thank you for the bits.
Oh, he's have to pay my electric bills. Oh god. My girlfriend. Oh, I just need to pay off my bills. Please subscribe. I live off B movie game. Nah, that's fine. I have a very comfortable middle class job. You don't have to waste your money on me. If you do waste your money on me, though, a lot of it's going back to the stream, so. <laughs> BBGN one donation at a time. Yeah, exactly. Mission complete. Food out oh, that's the worst sound glitch. I hate this one. You made a whole three dollars today. Woo! I'm rich. Time to buy a Ferrari. A Buick. Am I right? Buy a Buick. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, these honeycombs are awful. There's got to be a better joke. Mitsubishi. It was right fucking there. I'm sorry. It was right there. I'm sorry, guys. It was right there. How could I not see it? A Mitsubishi. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate it here. Please, let me out. Set me free. Oh my god, they're falling so fast. Okay. Welcome home. Since my streams are B themed, I got you like jazz at least three times every stream. I can only, I get that. I don't even, even when I don't play the B movie, the fact that I've played the B movie before permeates into every other game that I speed run. So people will often just ask me if I like jazz. And it's like, bruh. You know, like, I, there's gotta be, there's better jokes in the movie, I swear. Oh my god, I'm clutching it out right now. You see that? You see how many of those I just caught? I was clutch. Oh, ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, come on, please fall, please fall. Okay, 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 okay. I, I missed, don't ignore all those that I just missed though. That was not clutch. Okay, 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 okay. Clutch. Okay. That was good RNG actually. I had to do the wreck and donate the 50 cents. Well, thank you. My wallet appreciates it. And my bills, oh. I don't know what kind of pace I'm on right now, but I don't think it's great. <laughs> it should, it could still be world record though. I think it should be. Okay, please. Oh, thank God. Good cycle. Come on, come on. I'm shaking. I'm vigorously shaking. Please. Cannot irritate this guy fast enough. I like the last one of those minigame having like 80 of them. Oh my god, really? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, we don't go that far in the speedrun. We, that's the last honeycomb we ever do. Drafter though, Drafter's clutch. Because Drafter speeds up. Oh my god. He's the full spin. This guy's insane. Oh my god. That guy just... That guy just needed me. Okay, that was pretty bad. But you know they can't all be winners. That's what could have been. That's the split that could have been. Good. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect. It's really hard to lock onto that middle one. I often lose like five or ten seconds, so that was pretty clutch, actually. An ironic time save. At least you're not dead. You survived B movie game. Yeah, they should give you like t shirts like they do at Disneyland when you complete a ride. You know? This guy's a really aggressive swing. I'm scared of him. He has a backhand that comes out of nowhere. You might see it in a second. You never see it coming. He doesn't telegraph it. Gotta be, you gotta be careful. 
I'm intimate with every swing of every NPC. I really want joke runs for this game. Uh, there's a really good category called All Races, where you just do all the races. I figured it would be a fun category. So some people have run that. That could be like a nice intermediary if you don't want to commit two hours to this RNG fest. Instead, commit 30 minutes to an RNG fest. Burnt honeycomb percent? <laughs> what, collect five burnt honeycombs as fast as you can? That's hilarious. I think your chat and I would get along. I gotta go do pizza four after this. Okay, same RNG as what I got in uh as what I got in the last run, so pretty much the same split. But that's fine. That's a pretty good run. I think this might be my last run of this category for a while. Not perfect RNG, but like pretty darn close. Cut the come coombs, oh my god. <laughs> Powerful. Please. You've got a delivery run on standby, kid. Then off we go. Never see you coming. I forgot what that's from. Oh, Persona. Duh. Persona 5. I've only played the first hour. Oh, I got one in every ear. There's a left ear and a right ear one. Oh, fuck! Here's the drop. Here's the drop. Here's the dead drop. Excuse me. Yeah, it's pretty clutch. The sound glitches in this game are pretty clutch. There's one for your left ear and there's one for your right ear, depending on which way you're turning. And I've managed somehow to get the ultimate powerful both sound glitch. So you've really lucked out. That's how you know this is a good run, I would say. Wrong game. The best of luck, thank you. I mean, Honestly, like, we're kind of done with all the bad luck. So I just need to, like, not play like a jackass for the next, like, six... Like, we pretty much clutched it at this point. I would have to really mess it up to not get world record at this point. But my fingers are crossed anyway. Uh, that's fine. That's not really messing it up. It's not great, but it's fine. I'd have to make a pretty big mistake. We'll see, though. We'll see. You never know. Let's focus. Let's focus up. So that's done. So we're doing honeycomb three. We can do five honeycombs. So three, four, five, six, and seven. Cool. We can do up to seven. No one ever saw it. No one saw it. No one saw it. It's fine. No one's going to watch the video this far in. God, there's so much pizza flipping in my ear. It's so much. It's too much. Buckle down. This is pretty much the whole rest of the run. It's this minigame. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck. I gotta get another refill. It's cold. The hands are cold. Optimal gaming cannot happen. Okay, that's one, and you can do five total. Excuse me. I need to be rude. I'm tempted to clip, but that would be mean. <laughs> you can feel free to clip. I'll think it's funny. I'm the only one. I feel like I'm the only one that looks back on my clips anyway, and I'll get a laugh out of it. 
Oh, this is clutch. Not clutch. I should be able to get it next cycle. I read for my glitch so much. I just love watching myself be awkward. What can I say? It's intoxicating. Bad decision making, but we're getting there. I like go every once every few months. I go back and I watch my clips. <laughs> yeah, I'm so funny. <laughs> you gotta be. You have to be big enough to admit it. You have to be big enough to admit it. I get. I, I get it. You know, it's like, man, how am I so funny? Like, damn, how do I do it? The slurp is now a sound glitch, isn't that amazing? I would be at 2%. 2% cherry is not charging fast enough. Oh, yikes. Good luck, sir. May the charge ever be in your favor. Oh, this is so unlucky. Come on, I gotta wait for another cycle. That's my H, dude. Oh my god, it's so far away! Two more, two more, two more. <laughs> I love the sound glitch. Hey, the slurp went away. Now we've only got three. I think. There's the, the crane is in there, I don't know if you hear it. It's kind of far in the background, but the crane's there. And then, obviously, uh, pizza left, pizza right. I think that's it though. There might be one more, I don't know. The slurp is my favorite one too. I'm always sad. Other than, look, I'm a beat 17. But that one never stays for the whole run, unfortunately. That one always goes away. It's like a mission specific sound glitch for whatever reason. I'm like intimate with all the sound glitches at this point. Car horn is very common. You know, I'm, I'm almost, I'm surprised I didn't get car horn this run, honestly. Like most runs get it. Like, some people gossip about... What? Okay. I thought it didn't go. Some people gossip about, like, celebrities. Like, I gossip about sound glitches. What's your favorite? What's in Vogue? What the fuck was that one? I got sounds like sheeps moaning. I, I think that's the crane. Unless it's just, like, the, the Honix factory sound of... Oh, clutch! Is this the... Is this the nine? Is this the nine pot cycle? Legendary. Oh my god, the nine pot cycle, let's go. B movie crane glitch, the hardest glitch, so true. There's a glitch in Mirror's Edge called Crane's Kick Glitch, which is dummy hard. So anytime I bring up cranes, my chat goes wild. And I get it. Oh my god, and two nine cycles in a row? Let's go, dude! I'm pogging off. Is that an eight cycle? Or is that another nine? I think it's eight. Yeah, it's eight, it's eight, it's eight, it's eight. Still pogging off though. If I get another nine here, I'm done. Would that be sick? No, no, no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I, I, it's, the, the, yeah, that's fine. You were this close to greatness. Okay. Well, luckily this is the last one though. So let's just finish this quick strong. Okay, to court we go. To court. How many of honey okay, <sighs> let's, let's concentrate. I'm not gonna be looking at chat much. I can do not wanna screw this up. The sad thing is I'm new to all the Mirror's Edge stuff. That's okay. I'm gonna get this one while I'm over here. Good luck. Thank you, honey. Thank you for all your support today. It's been invaluable in my endeavors. Nice 
try. May the power of the beast flow through you. I could only wish. I need him to fucking move. Thank you. Good sir. He actually did move. That was actually very nice of him. He's normally not that cooperative. Okay. I hope he goes around now and not toward where I think he's gonna go. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's actually really good. Sometimes he'll screw you over and he'll just stand exactly where you need to go. And it's like, bruh. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, as a reference. Nice try. Whoa. Oh my god, clutch mode. Montgomery really cooperated RNG wise. He didn't get he only got in my way very mildly. <laughs> think B, think B, I'm trying! Nice try. Bs would never screw up a quick time of that. And neither will I. Nice try. I've gotten so good at these quick time events. I could be the greatest quick time event player in the whole world right now. Nice. And he's supposed to be in funny chair. In movie, he he go in funny chair. I don't love Mr. Montgomery. It feels like the joke is that he's fat, and like I don't super drive with that. But like he's still a pretty good character. He has other personality traits, luckily. But anyway. It's an animated kids movie, what can you expect? From 2007, written by Jerry Seinfeld. Stay together. Jerry Seinfeld is the boomer, the boomeriest boomer comedian I can think of. He's too strong. No, he's not. Come on, don't die, thank you. Okay, just gotta not fail a quick time event now, and we've got it. Watch the wing. One more. Two more. One more. Oh, thank God, we got it. It's from a weird time, exactly. Okay, we've got to get to the credits. We got to get to the credits. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And credits. It's over. B movie game is dead. Any percent is dead. This is it. This is this is what you may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I've done it. This is a good run. This is a pretty good run. Just like tabbing out here, like look at these splits. So this split, bad. Most 10 seconds of that was RNG. I lost another 15 seconds to being bad at the game. Fine. Meet Vanessa. I lost six seconds to being bad at the game. Again, it, it, it happens, okay? Uh, this split, dope as heck. This split, dope. This split, dope. This split, I really don't know how I lost time here. I think it must have been randomness. I think it must have been like race RNG or honeycomb RNG. I have no idea how I lost 30 seconds here. That's life. This split, exactly what you want to see. I made the time back. And again, this is also just like routing stuff. Like this, I I, I shouldn't have saved this much time, but I did save time on office and warehouse. Uh, bathroom, didn't lose any time, didn't gain any time. Perfectly normal. There's like, that's how it should go. Like there's not really any time to save or lose on that split. Uh, same with Laboratory. Uh, I could have got better RNG in the late game that would have allowed me to do like a different set of mini games than I did. But like, I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. Not a huge deal. Um, that's the only flaw, the only obvious flaw. Other than like the early game time loss and like whatever mistake this was, like the only big flaw is that I didn't get good J get luck at the end. So um, we managed to clutch out the 203. Uh, and yeah, I'm feeling good.